love today. It's cold AF today. It's like 40 to 60 degrees. I love it. You got your seatbelt on, right? God dang it, I told you to put your seatbelt on. So, <clears throat> slight change of plans already. I just started heading to the city. But now, this brake light has come on and won't go off. So, I'm going to go to AutoZone and by brake pads i guess big man things right but the further issue with that is it's sunday and there's no there's probably no one who's going to be able to put them on until monday and with that being said i still have a lot of errands to run and i'm going far long and fast so i'm going to need these brakes to hold out pray to the lord because i don't know anything about like brake lights or like what all that's supposed to indicate but I know it ain't good. I know I need brakes. So I've got these uh, brake pads, which will hopefully end up fixing my brake light problem. We don't know if it's the front or the back. I just decided to get the front because they said that's the one that goes out most often. But the issue with that is I still have a 50-50 chance of choosing the wrong one. Anyway, now I'm off to Best Buy because there's nobody who's going to be able to install these until tomorrow. So I'm going to go to Best Buy, give me a radio for my car, and then I've got a video shoot. So see y'all there. <music> I just stopped at a red light. Never mind, it's green now. I just stopped at a red light. Today we're going to do red light culinary reviews. Now, I, I'm a culinary artist. Why do you say that I say that, you might ask? Because for as long as I can remember 20 years of my life, I've been eating food that tastes pretty good and some food that doesn't taste good. So that is my experience, right? Now, any sane person knows that Chips Ahoy cookies are not good, okay? Chips Ahoy cookie by itself is dry, it's whack, it's just, it's dang near a cracker with chocolate on it. Like, it's not good. So, going forward, whenever I heard about the Chips Ahoy McFlurry, I was honestly skeptical and I had to try it because why in the world would they sell this for a long period of time and I'd advertise it with as much money as they spend with advertising, like, on this. So, I had to get it. So, I got it, I tried it, I've taken a few bites, and my review it's pretty good why because they knew because mcdonald's is sane enough to know that chips ahoy and ice cream wasn't going to do it they also added caramel and some other chocolate chunks into this because mcdonald's knows what they're doing thank god i was not disappointed so there was your two minute road review rouge review on the chips ahoy ice cream mcdonald's thing mababra g okay but on a serious note the role that the chips ahoy cookie plays in here is minimal if any it's really just ice cream and caramel okay chips ahoy cookies will forever be the worst kind of cookie you can get you some oreos you can get you them little nestle donut ring looking things you can get you a vanilla wafer a chocolate wafer you can get you miles of things you could actually bake real cookies but chips ahoy two thumbs down <laughs> Despite what you might think and what people tell you to believe, the best time to eat ice cream is definitely with 50 degree cold, wet, and rainy weather. Ain't that all the same thing? Cold and rainy weather outside. This is the best time to eat ice cream. It's less than 50 degrees. And it's such a good time to eat ice cream, it doesn't even melt. That's how I know. Like, that just backs it up. That proves its evidence. <laughs>
living is probably one of the most expensive things a human being can do. Why do I say that, you might ask? So the radio in my car went out. This is a car, car, car. I'm sorry, I tried to read that. The radio in my car went out, right? So just to listen to music like a normal person, I have to connect it to this Bluetooth speaker. But I didn't have a Bluetooth speaker when my radio went out. So I had to spend $80 on a speaker whenever I could have spent 80 well, 90 something dollars on a radio in my car. But I need a speaker anyway, right? So now the issue is I have this radio and I have this radio and it's not installed and the install is going to cost more money. So living is just expensive. I had to pay to eat today. Money ain't up. I'm just trying to live. Now we're on our way to Jazz and Blues Cafe, a place in downtown Edmond where I have a video shoot. And then I'm going to head home. I don't want to have too much work on my plate. The week's about to start tomorrow and the just be on that. So. Here I am in downtown Edmond. I can't say that I've actually been down here before. Well, maybe I cruise through it, but I haven't stopped. It's a nice place. I want to skate here. Um, without realizing that the real content of any kind of revolutionary thrust. I don't care what that's about. That's creepy AF. That is where I'm supposed to be. All right, looks right. So that was a black owned restaurant that hasn't opened up yet in downtown Edmond. Let me make sure I got everything. Yeah, definitely check that out. Amazing food, amazing music. Of course, you know, you've seen Mr. Guitar on this channel. I've worked with them a couple times. I've not been out here enough. I don't do enough. I'm shooting a movie out here. I'm shooting a movie in that restaurant. It opens up next month. By the time y'all see this video, it'll probably be open or at least close opening. And I want to work with these people, so for sure. Detour, I want to check this place out. Look at these perfect ledges. If I had a skateboard, I could skate. I would totally skate here, but I'm shooting a short film here. I'm writing a script for this place right now. When I get back, I'm writing a script for this place. I'm shooting it this weekend. That's the second short film I'm taking on. Catch y'all later. Had to go drop off my business card. If you are ever on Broadway in downtown Edmond, stop by the Gavin Blues Cafe. I've been in there. It's amazing. Thank you.